just going about doing buffooning as most men are known for. A man married or not, you know, like just let me say it's for married men. Married men first. A married man. You are married. You know you are married. And then you come to a young person. I'm full of life. Whatever, you know, most of the time we do over the weekend, we tell our girlfriends and no money can stop that gist. Well, that gist we must give. Sometimes it is it's in co- coded location. That is why you don't hear. But that's babe that you are dating that you think, hey, I have zip her mouth with money. She's not telling anybody that she's fucking the president or she's fucking this minister or she's fucking this businessman or she's fucking you know the women in politics to some of them so they like pussy me i don't judge me myself i'm a tear me i like women and men so i don't judge but say lgbt rights in the air battle will be in your country and so move find your lesbians and gays Fine, your lesbians and gays, but LGBT rights by Obia and KB men and Mama Yer Bone Crow for destroying their offices. You can go to the European countries for money, you went to them for education, you went to them for Christianity, and then almost the gay nilly, and it's almost the gay nilly lesbianism, but almost the money or gay nilly lesbianism, so more per se. When it comes to the concept of sexuality or what makes you enjoy sex, it is unique to you. I am a woman. I enjoy being like um, my clitoris to be sucked, like, you know, very stimulated. And it keeps me vibrant through the whole sexual intercourse. So I and I also love words of affirmation, you know, before the the sex, you should adore my body, you should touch it, you should let me know how you feel about me. I need that. And You, you, what you call it? So I don't, I don't like to pick just anybody that I'm not attracted to because I need to be in that mood. I should see you and feel attracted to you. There should be something about you, like I've dated tall, short, fat, skinny, big dick, small dick, fat dick, lingy lingy dick. Um, crooked dick, <laughs> um, what wobbly dick? Yeah, I want pony. When the dick is really big, it's not so good because I am to me yet. It's a girl, so more precise. I want to more book at least what seven, eight inches, you know, not too much. No, not at all. You need to know your body. Today's interview was therapeutic for me. For the very first time, I could just say, Yes, I fucked these guys. Yes, I fucked them all. Like, I fucked them all. KOG, Samuel Ku, um, Maya, Kojian Sin, um, Lizzie's Bill Kami, I fucked him before. She's not so good in bed. Um, ah, uh, uh, ahem, uh, Victoria Lebanese husband. Uncle Consa, 
he I don't know I can't get myself to fuck him but gosh that guy likes pussy so good like you are married now every day you are in my DM you want to come and see me you want to come and see me for what as for sex me and you it won't happen it won't happen unfortunately when I met you I think one time QOD saw the two of us working together and I was say um hey what are you doing with my small boy sisters I don't make you with this show what are you doing with my small boy Eugene it just stuck in my head like it just registered in my head like if I ever fuck this in book on some boy even if, if I fuck you in Kansa like it will hit KOD and, and like other times like KOD like we had me at that point in time me I thought I was in love and he too he made me feel like he's in love and he always he used to say that okay he's bipolar like me and he's a Capricorn and I'm Aquarius. So January Bonds, I've realized that I really connect like on a different level with January Bonds. My first boyfriend was a January Bond. Like it took a very long time for me to forget that motherfucker. But <laughs> I've forgotten him now. <laughs> I'll tell you about him later on. Yeah, so that was the first time I was like, you know, 